Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my first paycheck since I posted my um, financial video. So as you know, if you watched the last one, I'm getting back on to paying off my debt. I really want to be credit card debt free, like <laughs> hopefully at the beginning of next year or like the middle because I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired of making bad mistakes and just having to live with it. So moral of the story, I am back on my financial videos and I just want to record this journey of paying off my debt. So if you like to stick around for that, please do. Don't forget to subscribe and let's just get right into it. So the first card that I'm paying off is my Chase Freedom. I love this card so much, but I need to pay it off because the amount I have on there is so stupid. Like, what am I doing? Why have I not paid it off? I don't know. I've paid this card off twice before. And I think like the major thing about this card is once I pay this off, I am going to go down to smaller limit because I am just financially unstable. Obviously, I cannot handle the amount that I have on there. So I think I'm going to try to go down to like $500 on this card so I can get back on track with using credit cards. Um, But right now I had $1,945, like somewhere around there. I paid $200 from my paycheck, which was on Thursday, the 28th, the 26th, actually. So now I am down to $1,745, which is $1,745 here and some change. So like I said in my last video, I love this credit card. This is the one I want to use when I am finally debt free because I just get so many good rewards and I just love Chase. I do. So um, I'm going to pay this card off in three months. I know it's not like a lot of money, but for my small income, that's all I can do right now. And um, so my July credit, my July payments will be probably split up into two. Um, so this $200 was an extra amount that I put towards this card. For the next three months, I will be paying about $648 a month to get that paid off. So that is my goal. And now that I have the extra $200, that's going to help so much and hopefully pay my card off way before then, maybe like in two months. I don't know. We'll see how many shifts I pick up. I did say in my last video that I had about $500 extra, but um, <laughs> thanks to the government and taxes, they gave me about 300, even though I worked $600 worth of extra shifts. So the $300 that I have is going straight to savings. So I completed my $50 savings. So that's great. I am also, I also took a hundred dollars out in cash and that is going to stay in my um, folder that I use my cash envelopes because I just out of sight, out of mind, out of sight. If I don't see it, then I'm not going to want to spend it. And that's my problem right now. If I see the money in my bank account, I want to spend it. So that's why I need to go back to having cash and doing it by hand. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling motivated and very blessed to have what I have, to have the job that I have, to be able to put extra money away, to even have some kind of savings. I just feel very thankful right now and I want to keep at it. Um, so my next goal for July 10th, that is my first paycheck of July, is to put another $50 down and um, I am happy i'm feeling motivated i'm feeling good and i'm really working on not spending money this month it is so hard it is so hard to not go spend money here and there on random things that i just want randomly it is so hard but i need to train my brain that i don't need it why do i want it all of a sudden that i have money when i have so much stuff already that i need to be thankful for so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.